We want to welcome to Muleshoe our new chief of police. And you come from where? Uh, North Texas area. Prior to uh, coming to Muleshoe, I was the assistant chief of police for the town of Prosper. Now, where is Prosper? In North Texas, I guess as a reference point, uh, about 45 minutes north of Dallas. And so now tell us your name. Gary McCone. And now tell us all about your family. Got a great family. That's that's first and foremost. They've been abundantly supportive of uh, me taking this opportunity. Uh, my wife and I discussed this, and, uh, you know, she's been nothing but supportive, and so have my children. And now tell me your wife's name. Susan. Susan. And she originally is from our area. Yes, ma'am. She's originally from Tulia, grew up in this area, and uh, graduated from Texas Tech many years ago and actually uh, taught here in the Muleshoe ISD several years ago. Oh, really? I'll be. Well, she is a Muleshoe-eyed already. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and now, how many children do you have? Collectively, between the two of us, six. Six children. Wonderful. Now, uh, anybody close to Muleshoe? We've got uh, our family, which is in Tulia, matter of fact. Uh-huh. And so now tell me what you're looking to the future. Some of the things that you would like to do here in Milshu as chief of police. I think one of the first and foremost uh, things that I'm wanting to do here as the chief is listen to the community and listen to the department of how I can best help and serve them. Um, I'm a big believer in servant leadership, so I want to ensure that I'm getting feedback from the folks here at the police department as well as the community of how we can best serve them. And if we need to improve in certain areas in terms of that, I want to do that. But one of the things I am looking, uh, you know, the most forward to or or a lot to is establishing some community-based programs here that will, you know, interact the community as well as the police department, ISD, local businesses, residents, and so forth. Now, is there anything specific you're looking at maybe doing in the near future? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we, we've looked at uh, a coffee with a cop, which is just, just that. It's a Coffee very, with the cop. Coffee with a cop. Coffee with a cop to come out and have a discussion, an informal discussion with officers uh, to get a chance to interact with us, myself, and other officers within the community at uh, local businesses that will serve coffee. And I would just have folks be on the lookout for that in the near future. We'll put that out on social media and uh, various other venues to let everybody aware, make them um, uh, fully aware of that. I'd also like to look at the uh, Citizens Police Academy or establishing you know, citizens on patrol and volunteers and police service here in the town and uh, hopeful about doing that. And we're going to hit that hard and heavy t- either toward the end of this year or the first part of next year to seek interest on that and uh, get a class going for the spring. And now what would that class entail? Citizens Police Academy is a real short abbreviated version of what an officer goes through during a police academy. So it would be one night a week for a 12 to 14 week period that would encompass touching on everything from the Texas Penal Code, Transportation Code, to uh, investigative practices, procedures, traffic direction, and so forth. And we would have instructors come in not only from the police department, but outside agencies as well. Now, are you fully staffed at this time? Right now, we have got two openings that we are attempting to fill. So once we uh, get some applications, we'll be doing some testing and, uh, you know, going through the process to fill those positions, hopefully in the near future. If someone happened to be listening to our interview, uh, how would they contact you? Of course, there's going to be people listening to the interview. There's a lot of people listening to the interview, I'm sure. But the best way to contact the police department is either at our main number or somebody can email me and my email address can obviously be found on the website. But it's gmacone at city dash of com is a real easy way to reach out to me. Wonderful. Is there anything else you would like to talk about? Sure. I guess I would just like to take the opportunity uh, again to thank the community for being abundantly welcoming over the last uh, few days that I've been here. And since having been sworn in uh, back in August, everybody that I've encountered and everybody that I've ran into has been outstanding. They've made my family and I feel very welcomed uh, in this area and uh, excited about the opportunities that uh, lay ahead here and excited about uh, serving this community. Wonderful, and we're so glad to have you here in Muleshoe, the Mule Memorial City. And if we can help you at Channel 6 in any way, please call on us. 
I will do that for sure. Thank you all.